the infamous Waverly Hills Sanatorium in Louisville, Kentucky. This desolate building was once a haven for those afflicted by tuberculosis, but is now rumored to be haunted by the spirits of its tormented past patients. Visitors have reported ghostly apparitions, mysterious footsteps, and unexplained screams echoing through its crumbling hallways. Brace yourself, for this is just the beginning. In the wake of that spine-chilling encounter, the paranormal investigators decide to delve deeper into the history of Waverly Hills. They uncover forgotten patient records, each page telling a tale of suffering and despair. The spirits, it seems, are restless for a reason, a truth hidden beneath layers of time and tragedy. As they piece together the puzzle, the investigators learn of a forbidden love that ended in tragedy within the sanatorium's walls. The tormented souls seek resolution, their spectral whispers guiding the team to a hidden chamber where a forgotten journal reveals the heart-wrenching story of a nurse and a patient whose love was torn apart by the harsh realities of the past. Determined to help these lost souls find peace, the investigators embark on a mission to reunite the spirits and lift the curse that binds them to Waverly Hills. Alongside flickering candlelight and ancient incantations, they perform a ritual that transcends the barrier between the living and the dead. In a breathtaking moment, the air stills, and the ethereal figures in the sanatorium find solace. The tormented screams transform into whispers of gratitude, and the ghostly apparitions fade away, leaving behind a newfound tranquility within the once haunted halls. As dawn breaks, the investigators leave Waverly Hills, their mission accomplished. The building, though still desolate, no longer echoes with the anguished cries of the past. The spirits, having found closure, rest in eternal peace, and the infamous sanatorium stands as a silent witness to the power of compassion in the face of ghostly encounters. Descend with us into the depths of the catacombs, where the veil between the living and the dead is thin. The cold embrace of skeletal archways and the hallowed whispers of the departed beckon us into a world obscured by the passage of centuries. In this subterranean realm, the boundaries of mortality blur, and the echoes of the past intertwine with our very existence. We travel to the forbidding depths of the catacombs in Paris, France. Beneath the bustling city streets lies a labyrinth of eerie tunnels lined with bones. As we venture further into this sinister underworld, be prepared to encounter the restless souls that still roam these aging catacombs. Will we make it out unscathed? Only time will tell. As our journey through the haunting catacombs unfolds, the damp air thickens with an unsettling presence. The flickering candlelight casts elongated shadows on the skeletal remains that line the walls creating an otherworldly tableau. Whispers of the past echo through the narrow passages as we navigate the chilling maze, each step bringing us closer to the heart of the underground realm. Guided by the eerie glow of phosphorescent moss, we stumble upon a chamber that seems frozen in time. Within, a spectral congregation of spirits materializes, their hollow eyes reflecting the pain of long-forgotten stories. As we linger in their ethereal presence, the air becomes charged with a sorrowful energy, leaving us entwined with the lingering emotions of those who met an untimely end. In our quest for escape, we encounter a cryptic figure, a guardian of the underworld. With a solemn gesture, the guardian reveals a hidden exit, allowing us to emerge from the bowels of the earth, back into the Parisian night. As we ascend, the oppressive atmosphere of the catacombs lifts, and the once chilled air warms with the promise of a new dawn. The spirits, having shared their stories, find peace, and we, the transient visitors to their spectral domain, carry their tales with us into the world above. Embark on a chilling odyssey with us as we unveil the mysteries of the Castle of Bran. Nestled in the eerie landscapes of Transylvania, this ancient fortress guards the secrets of a legendary figure. The whispers of locals linger in the air, beckoning us to explore the haunted corridors and unravel the enigma that has gripped the region for centuries. Our spine-tingling journey leads us to the mystical castle of Bran in Transylvania, Romania. Known as the home of the legendary Count Dracula, this ancient fortress exudes an aura of darkness and mystery. 
locals whisper tales of blood-curdling screams and sightings of the infamous vampire himself. Will we come face to face with the undead? Only the night will reveal its secrets. As we step through the imposing gates of Bran Castle, a shiver runs down our spines. The air within is thick with a palpable tension, and the flickering candlelight casts dancing shadows on the medieval walls adorned with portraits of long-forgotten nobility. Our footsteps echo through echoing halls, each one seemingly holding the secrets of centuries past. Venturing into the heart of the castle, we discover a hidden chamber where the walls seem to pulse with an otherworldly energy. Within, ancient manuscripts tell tales of dark rituals and unholy pacts. As we decipher the cryptic writings, a distant howl pierces the silence, sending a chill through the air. The legends of Count Dracula come to life, and the line between myth and reality blurs in the ghostly confines of Bran Castle. In the heart of the night, beneath the moon's watchful gaze, we find ourselves in a dimly lit chamber. Suddenly, a figure emerges from the shadows, the silhouette of Count Dracula himself. The air grows still as the undead nobleman gazes upon us with piercing red eyes. Yet instead of malice, a melancholic longing fills the room. In a surprising twist, Dracula reveals a tragic tale of love and loss that bound him to this ancient fortress. The blood-curdling screams and mysterious sightings were echoes of his eternal sorrow. Moved by empathy, we offer a glimmer of solace to the tormented vampire, and in a spectral mist, he fades away, leaving Bran Castle in an eerie tranquility. Finally, join us on a journey into the heart of darkness at the Penhurst State School and Hospital. Nestled in the quiet corners of Spring City, Pennsylvania, this abandoned institution conceals a trove of ghostly secrets. The air is heavy with the weight of history as we venture into the shadows, where the line between the living and the dead blurs in the haunting aftermath of Penhurst. Prepare to witness the paranormal as we delve into the depths of Penhurst. We dare to explore the abandoned Penhurst State School and Hospital in Spring City, Pennsylvania. This decaying institution once housed mentally challenged individuals, but its dark history has left a haunting presence. Ghost hunters claim to have captured ghostly voices and apparitions lurking within its dilapidated walls. As we step cautiously into the desolation of Penhurst, a chilling wind rustles through the overgrown courtyard, carrying with it echoes of the institution's troubled past. The crumbling infrastructure stands as a solemn testament to the lives that once inhabited these forsaken halls. Flickering lights cast eerie shadows on the peeling paint, revealing glimpses of a history stained with neglect and despair. Our exploration leads us to a forgotten wing where the air becomes charged with a spectral energy. Ghostly whispers reverberate through the decaying corridors, telling tales of lost souls seeking acknowledgement. As we navigate the labyrinth of abandoned rooms, the temperature drops, and ethereal figures materialize, their faces etched with the anguish of a bygone era. In the depths of Penhurst, we uncover a hidden chamber adorned with remnants of forgotten memories. A flickering light reveals a tattered journal, chronicling the untold stories of those who once called this place home. As we read the poignant accounts, a sense of closure fills the air, in a final spine-chilling encounter, the ghostly apparitions assemble, their spectral hands reaching out in gratitude. The haunted presence begins to dissipate, leaving behind a profound stillness. Penhurst, once a dwelling of sorrow, now stands silent, its troubled history finding a semblance of peace in the face of acknowledgement. 